Ani, nije da šmino ako i keno monnem, oži kad je gego pi vojn dizijek iš na kazijek. So basically, the next lesson will be on introductions. How do I introduce myself, say, in a circle? Sometimes we find, or in a meeting, we find ourselves, and we hear a lot of people today introducing themselves in the language. Well, that is a start. That is a start in 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 you taking action that you are want to promote and revitalize the Nishnabe language. So we can say, uh, as in the previous lesson, Habojo, and then you would continue to say your name, okay? Um, say, for example, if I was in a meeting or in a circle, I would say, Habojo, Barbara Nolan, Dijnikas, um, so that would be the limit of my basic introductions. You can go on and on and on and elaborate, but just for a simple start for you who are starting to learn the language. This is what we will say, okay? Your name goes first. Like our language is built that way where it's kind of backwards. Most of the time, you wouldn't say, like in English, eh? English, it says, hello, my name is Barbara Nolan, okay? Now, my name is Dejne Kaz, and then Barbara Nolan. We don't follow that pattern. We follow this pattern, where we put our name first, and then Dejne Kaz at the end, okay? So, we can say bojo. Or you can say Ami. Some people say Bojo and then have a pause and then they say Ani. So let's do that. That's a pause there. So Bojo Ani. And then you would proceed with your name. Okay? In this case, I'll use my name. Okay? So you could put your name on here. If your name is um, um, Henry Wabus. You can say Henry Wabos Dishnikas. Or whatever your name is, you put that first, eh? And then you put Dishnikas. So it's Dishnikas. Okay? Dishnikas. Barbara Nolan Dishnikas. Okay? So there I've told him my name. Now, some people. Um, go to the extent of saying their um, Nishnabe name, okay, their spirit name, okay? You can do that first here if you wish, or you can say it after, okay? In, and then there again, you would use your spirit name first, okay? So let's go here. My spirit name, I'll share with you. Wabaganque. Wabaganque. But you don't use Dishnikas. You can say Ndigo. You can even have an I in there if you want. Wabaganque Ndigo. Okay? Now, there's a reason for this, okay? You, this is your name. This is what you are called, okay? This is who you are spiritually. So you are known by the spirits as this, okay? 
So this is a very, some people don't even share their spirit name in a meeting, uh, like in a big meeting or something. Although I, I start, I'm starting to hear a lot of people sharing their spirit name. Okay, so this is for you, Wabagan Kwe Indigo, Indigo, or Digo. You can't hear that in in there, Indigo. Wabagan Kwe Indigo. Then you would say where you are from, okay? You can say, and there again, where you're from comes first, eh? Like you don't say, I am from, and then Garden River. You would say, Garden River, I am from, okay? So you could say, get the gone sea being, get the gone. And in Serpent River, what do they use in Serpent River? Um, Chignebig, Gnebig sea being, don jiba. Okay. Get the gone sea being. And here again, it's just very silent. And do in Jaba. Okay. So when we are introducing ourselves at a meeting, uh, at a circle, or whatever, okay? And you would say, Bojo, Ani, Barbara Nolan, Dishnikas, Wabagan Kwe, Digo, Kitikansi Bing, Don Jaba, and you can even have one more and say your clan, okay? So I find that a lot of people are starting to use their clan names in the introduction. So we'll do this, okay? So you can say, Vineshi, uh, that's my clan. Vineshi in Dode. Vineshi in Dode. Okay, so here we have two things, okay, that are kind of, uh, normally, you would say Barbara Nolan Dishnikas, Ktiganzi being Nonjaba. And that's it. But I find that more and more people are sharing their spirit name and their, their clan name, their clan as well. Okay? So I'm just going to underline those things that are like a spirit, your spirit name, how you would say it and how you declare your, 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 um, your spirit name and your clan, your clan name, okay? Just so you know, and it's your choice. It's your choice. You can just say, um, some people are not comfortable in sharing your spirit name. Some people are not comfortable in sharing their clan name but more so I hear them sharing it, okay? They might even say this first. They might say their spirit name first and then their Christian name maybe, uh, or their, some people say my um, GST name. But I find you're, uh, when you do that, you're kind of poking fun. So we don't want to poke fun, okay? We want to be very respectful, okay? So we can say, we can start off with this. Abujo, Ani, Wabagan Kwen Digo, Barbara Nolan Dishnikas, Bene Shin Do Dem, Ktiganzi Bing Don Jaba. So you can switch it whichever way you want, but the first part tells you your name and who you are. The second part is where you're from, and it tells you who your clan is, okay? So it's fairly simple. So this will change, like your, 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 all you guys' name is not Barbara Nolan. So don't go and memorize this and say Barbara Nolan Dishnikas. People won't believe you if you do that, 
So you say your name. Your name goes first, okay? Um, if it's uh, Mary McPhee, Mary McPhee Dishnikas, or whatever your name is, okay? Dishnikas, Dishnikas, Mary McPhee Dishnikas. And then if you say, um, maybe your name, your spirit name is Star Woman, Nangon uh, Square. And I'm sure all of you have your, your spirit name in the language. So if you want to start using it, just use this at the end of it. Indigo. Okay. Uh, and this is where you're from. I am from Garden River. Bakting Donjaba. Um uh, Mississaugi, Ndonjaba. Some people say Ndonji, and that's more of a um, an Ojib Western dialect, Ndonji. But it is, and then I say Ndonjaba. Okay? And then you could say your clan. Your clan might be Makwa, Makwan Do Dem, Wabashish Do Dem. Okay, whatever your clan name is, okay? Your clan here first, and then in them. Okay, and it's fairly straightforward. So when next time when you're at a meeting, you might try it out. You might try just the first part out. Okay, and then maybe you might try the next. Maybe you might try this part and this part out first, and then maybe you want to be a little more brave and do your spirit name and your clan name. So whatever. It is whatever you feel most comfortable in doing. Uh-huh. Be wet.